What is up, gentlemen? My name is Kite. I've been playing a whole lot of stuff, but you haven't seen any of it. Well, it's nice to see you now, huh? I've been gone for two months, and that's actually probably way too long. But I figure I can start over at this point. I can, I can get your hype train rolling, and I have a couple ideas how to do that. I've had some things in the workshop a little while. They're, they're still coming out, and uh, I finally got, I finally gave in, and I bought an arcade stick. So that's coming on too. Maybe Street Fighter won't end up an entire failure, or it might just turn into another game. I, uh, yeah, I have, I have no other news on that game from. This is Call of Duty. This isn't the game I was talking about on the last Call of Duty video, but it illustrates the same thing eventually. If you're actually looking for anything cop related, which you're probably not, it uh, it's another match on domination on hijacked, where the first round's kind of just trying to gain our foothold in the front. And it kind of works. It kind of doesn't. But the second game, we get rolling real fast, and we start controlling those lanes, or more accurately, I start controlling those lanes pretty hard. And with the help of my teammates, we trap them in a pretty goddamn hard. It works too, I like it. But uh, that's about all I'm going to say about the actual game so far, other than it's old, I liked it, it's on Xbox, and I stomped the Xbox kitties. So, on to the actual topic is my return to the YouTubes. I'm actually intending it to stick. I have a couple things I wanted to upload. I have a couple things that I wanted to upload but didn't actually work because I fucked the audio up, as I am wont to do. Um, but what you can s probably see in the future, I know right around when this comes up is going to be a Dota video that was really hype. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty funny, but I haven't actually been playing Dota. I've been playing a fuckload of Smite, though. I have the Twitch Ymir, which is wonderful, and... What that means to those who don't play Smite is that I streamed 5,000 uh, minutes on their game in-game browser, um, in-game streaming, which means I streamed 83.3 hours of Smite, and it was all fuzzy because their in-game streamer is crap. But I did it, and that's what I was occupying my time with. I couldn't actually record any of that for my personal use, sadly. Because while it's still all there, it looks like crap, and I don't want to give you stuff that looks like crap. I also couldn't record it at the same time, because I don't actually have that good of a CPU. Not well enough to stream and record from two different sources at the same time. I don't think many people actually have a good enough CPU for that. But, we're trying. That's not the point. Um, so, soon I will have Smite for you, but not today. I tried and I messed up my audio for the first few recordings I actually got of it, so we'll try again. I play that a lot, so another thing that's going to come up is probably the fighting games. As soon as I get, I, my arcade stick arrives in a week. Supposedly it's going to arrive on the 14th, which means I can go in hard. I'm going to get Injustice and Persona 4 Arena to get into those mix, because you know I gotta love the Persona. I'm, I'm into the games. I played Persona 3 probably through a couple times, which is a couple hundred hours easy. And I played Persona 4 a little bit. So I'm, I'm kind of into those games. And I uh, I got to get in that Mitsuru, man. You might, if you know anything about the game, you know that's the OP character, but I don't give a crap. She is someone I want to play. Straight up. I don't give a crap. So... That's going to be happening, and I'm going to try to start up another another project here. Friendly something I've been kind of working on. If you uh, if you looked at the Day Nine deployed. channel, if, should you be interested in that? He does a thin little thing called Why We Like It every once in a while. And I kind of want to get into that sort of thing. I want to explore the mixture of writing and lore and game and why I like certain series because. You know, I don't actually play that much Halo anymore, but I love the series for its its lore, its background. I would argue 100% that it has as deep, if not more deep, a backstory and world than Mass Effect. That's how far I'd go with it. And you know Mass Effect. It's known for that sort of shit. But through the books, it's like 10 books, 12 books total, it's expanded its universe to be just as deep and complex as the others. Even in the games, but... 
I want to talk about that sort of thing because there there are a lot of games I read the expanded universe for, and as an expiring uh, gamer and writer and video maker, I kind of want to combine those all into a a little bit of a polished piece like that. It might turn into me rambling about it for you know ten twenty minutes. Who knows? Uh, but I've been trying to toy with that format a little bit and. That's the first round, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Um, tell me what you think about those ideas, because I, I don't really know. I don't know if anyone actually would be interested in that lore thing. I'm just sort of a lore freak about games, so... Whatever. But I suppose it's really it's really up to you guys. Uh, what would you see? What would you like to see? What would do you think would be good for me to do, really? Um... I'm willing to really do anything at this point. I'm not. I'm not really going to be playing my PS3 much anymore because the disc drive is not working. But anything short of that, I'll happily. I'll happily roll on. Um, this is the start of the match that I was talking about. That, that I start to steamroll. The first point is quickly getting the mid pla flag, which I keep failing to do because I refuse to put flag jacket on, which means I refuse to stop dying to C4. So that's annoying as fuck, but eventually we get a hold of it and start just trucking on these fools, which is always fun. Uh, hmm, what else can I talk about? Sorry I've been gone so long, really. I, uh, I'm getting out of practice of this, obviously, because I used to be sort of able to fill 11 minutes just sort of talking about random shit, but, um, I've gotten out of practice, as you can tell. Oh yeah, I have a whole bunch of old stuff that you guys have been apparently looking at while I've been gone. My, uh, my views have shot up across the board, and I'm kind of wondering what you guys of the old stuff you want to see. Because I still have, like, eight episodes of Borderlands that I haven't up uploaded. We haven't really played it all, but I still have old, eight old archived episodes of it that could catch us up if you're interested. I saw that you guys watched a Blacklight video I did real quick like 173 views on it which blew my mind for a 30 second clip but if you guys want to see more stuff like that I'm happy to I mean really I'm just looking for your feedback because I have all sorts of ideas but unless you guys point me at one I might not I might dither around some of them and not really go to it if you go to the thing that you guys really want to see so I don't know it's all up to you. Well, it's not all up to you. It's all up to your ideas, and then it's all up to me. But I think I can take care of it. Um, yeah. GG. Um, here's the point where I was talking about. You see sort of where I'm hovering in this game? I'm talking about the gameplay. Look at that. You sort of hover back where I was standing, like at those round corners there that you're seeing at the corners. If you, if you sort of strafe back and forth in front of there looking down the way you can sort of get shots on everyone down the range and they can't do anything because there's no real cover down there. They'll have to lay down and you'll just sort of laugh at them as you kill them. You can also do it, I mean, people do that all the time and it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of time, but it, it catches me a good amount and that's actually pretty effective, but uh, other than that, there's really no places to go except through the building. What you want to do is you want to have one person on this end, one person on the other end, and one watching the building. Then the only way they can really get out is to either fight through you, which is possible, but hard, because you're staring down at them with fully automatic weapons, or you could go around and through the underground passage, but for whatever reason, people don't actually think of that that much, and when they do, it's kind of obvious. Because suspiciously, no one no one comes out anymore. You know what I mean? No one's coming out the door, so you know something's going up. So you go, you have someone go check the the back the back door, as it were. Also, it, it tends to be that if they go through the the underground, they come up and they try to capture C and or A, depending on which side you're doing it. But C in this case, the C will start blinking, and you'll know what they're doing, and you can either reverse and go attack them and kill them before they attack C, well, before they actually capture C. Or you can just say, fuck it, go attack, capture A, and then they'll just be back in the same spot with no actual goal. Their, uh, their spawn will flip, but they'll be in the same trap, which is hilarious, I think. Um, I really hate this map because of that, actually. Because in, in with the map 
Nuketown, which this is almost a carbon copy of, they they had the same problems, but I think part of it was that to get to the sides of the houses that got you into the middle of the map, you sort of had to be at a weird angle with no cover, whereas they had a lot of cover, and they could advance down that side almost no matter what you did. So what you did was you pulled back and watched them as they came funneled out into the middle, but at least you couldn't stare down the side into their spawn so easy and just sort of rape them while they're in there. This map, they made the mistake and allowed them to do that, and it's the worst for it. Because, you know what, honestly, I think they pulled Nuketown just as a money grub. They're like, look, this popular map that was really good according to you guys, we're going to we're gonna put it in the new game, but it's going to be, you know, if you buy it pre-owned, you're not going to get the game. But hey, whatever, that's, that's me rambling on too far. The game ends, I get the last kill cam, I get a whole bunch of kills, three, three bloodthirsties and merciless, that's pretty good for me, pretty good for level 13, and yeah, I hope you guys had a good time watching the video, and I will talk to you later.